Oh. Hello everyone, my name is Evergreen. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be checking out another favorite game of mine, Cold Waters. Cold Waters is a 2017 submarine simulation video game developed and published by Killerfish Games. It is a spiritual successor to the 1988 submarine simulation game, Red Storm Rising by Microprose. I personally haven't played Red Storm Rising, but if it's like Cold Waters, then I would immediately like it for a variety of reasons. In Cold Waters, you'll be put in command of a nuclear submarine in a desperate attempt to prevent mutually assured destruction, or MAD, when the Cold War gets hot and World War III begins between US, NATO, and of course, the Warsaw Pact and the Soviet Union. You'll be tasked with uh, intercepting convoys, amphibious landings, insertion missions, and battling out with enemy warships, submarines, and aircraft. Thankfully, an arsenal of guided torpedoes, anti-ship, and land attack cruise missiles, and the occasional SEAL team are on board to keep the Iron Curtain at bay. Now, I'd like to mention that uh, Cold Waters is a relatively old game, and there's a couple new games coming out soon, relatively soon. For example, Sea Power, Naval Combat in the Age of the Missile. Basically, it's this game, but on steroids, because a lot of people have been making mods for Cold Waters, which we'll be checking one out today. Um, one of my favorite mods, uh, called the Dot Mod, but we'll get into that in a second. Uh, the Sea Power game, which is coming out soon, is this... Uh, and the mo a dot mod on steroids. It, it allows you to control aircraft carriers, uh, jet aircraft, um, submarines, and entire fleets. Because in this game, you only control one ship. In the other one, you control several. If you wish to check out Sea Power, I would advise going to Killerfish Games uh, website on YouTube, and you can get better information there. Also, now we'll talk about the dot mod. The dot mod is, well, a mod. It modifies the game, the current game. The original current game is you only had a selection of NATO and U.S. submarines to play. However, other mods were created, like the Epic mod, which allowed you to play surface ships. The only in single-player missions. Campaigns, you could only play uh, as a submarine. Um, though a variety of submarines, I should mention. Anything from U.S., British, French, Spanish, German, uh, basically countries all over the world. It would allow you to play any variant of submarine weapons were more or less modeled, more or less. The, the models weren't always the best. Um, there's a variety of different campaigns you can play as, which we'll get into in a second, but, uh, the, but all it really did, the Epic Mod added, was models to the game. No, not, nothing really in terms of missions. Um... The dot mod goes above and beyond because their mod team is so cool. Um, they've added all kinds of things to Cold Waters. For example, you can play surface ships now in the campaigns. You can launch helicopters for ASW or anti-submarine warfare. Um, you also, they've uh, modeled in correctly um, cruise missiles and anti-ship missiles for surface ships. Because in the Epic mod, they were kind of broken be honest with you, sometimes the missiles wouldn't track a target you would launch at or just r really weird things. The, the mod team have gone out of the way to do all kinds of crazy things for this game. So let's check it out. We won't be doing training because I already know how to play this game. Single missions, kind of boring because, I mean, it's really just you blow up the target then you're done. Let's go into a campaign. So uh, the Epic Mod gives you a variety of campaigns. Uh, the, the reason why I like the Epic Mod as well is because... It gave you an entire world, or the entirety of Earth, so to speak. Like, for example, a certain one of the things which I thought was really cool, which I played a lot, was you could play as a U.S. and start in the Atlantic and perform missions in the Pacific against the Soviet Union. Of course, it was kind of hard to play because you had to transit physically from one location to the other and dodging enemy service ships and submarine patrols and all that jazz. In this game, it's really simple. You have the uh, different eras. Uh, basically, in the original game, you only have three different eras. You have the NATO, uh, North Atlantic, uh, basically all North Atlantic, uh, when this game first came out, which was 1968, really early. Uh, guided weapons, and I don't think miss cruise missiles had come out yet, except for uh, like cruise missile submarines, like boomers. Uh, that's the nautical term for uh, nuclear ballistic submarines. Um, 
standard hunter killer submarines didn't carry missiles. I don't think. Don't quote me on that. Um, and then you get 1990 or 1984, which definitely did have cruise missiles for hunter killer submarines. Like basically weapons super upgraded from this time period to that time period. And then even a bigger jump of sophistication. However, they added, uh, I think it was 2019, they added the South China Sea um, update, which gave a new enemy, which wasn't the Soviet Union, in fact, but it was Russia. Or, I just said that. Oops. China. Communist China. God, I'm such a derp. Um, And the cool thing about this update was it added in a completely new map of the South China Sea of Japan, Korea, and all that, uh, and uh, the coast of China. It was really cool. Um... It was a nice new change of pace. It was also much more um, challenging because the South China Sea is much deeper compared to the Atlantic. You have uh, you have to fight in much shallower waters, which for deep water submarines like the Sea Wolf or or the Virginia or the later uh, block uh, the later uh, upgrades of the uh, Los Angeles class submarines for the U.S. It was a pain in the ass to play in the South China Sea, but a huge challenge. It was really super fun. As you can see, you still have your first two modes. However, uh, the Epic mod also, which introduced the ability to play Soviet submarines and the, and the Warsaw Pact uh, type. Um, it was very interesting to play on the other side of the fence, play as the Soviets. Very cool. They have very interesting submarines, fast, tanky. Uh, weapons not the greatest, but they're still a huge threat. And then um, something new that I have never seen before is playing as part of uh, Her Majesty's Silent Service, uh, the Royal Navy's uh, submarine uh, fleet um, in the uh, year 1984. Haven't seen that before. Haven't checked it out. Oh, what's it say? Um, It doesn't say anything. I figured this would change. Uh, Oh. Hmm. So this doesn't change. Weird. Okay, so I think, hmm, what do we want to play as? Do we want to do fun times in the South China Sea, or do we want to do something extra fun? Hmm. I'm not, I don't know, I'm going to be honest. You know what? I think I do know what I want to play. Because I've, uh, I've already checked out the... Uh, NATO of the 1968 and the uh, NATO uh, 1984 campaigns. Both are very interesting fun. I, honestly, I find the 1968 one to be super challenging because you don't have guided weapons, so it makes it really difficult to play. Um, at least for me. I'm not super skilled with unguided weapons. I need the guidance systems. It makes kills much easier and much more simple for me. That's just that's just a me personal thing. Um uh, but very fun and challenging. But we're going to go to the super challenge of the South China Sea with modern day weapons. So uh, we'll do uh, Commander Evergreen. And start. All right, so we so here's where we pick our ship. So we just picked our campaign. Here is the USS Seawolf. Uh, in, it is the most powerful, at least the most powerful known submarine in the U.S. Navy. Um, I forget how much this costs. I think it's like thirty billion dollars or something like that. It is the mo- it's I believe it is the most sophisticated submarine in the world. Nothing even remotely comes close to it. Not even other U.S. submarines. I believe a total of three were built, and I think only two remain in service. One I think got turned into a training vessel or or something. I always forget. But they add a large amount of uh, notes. Uh, basically, the dot mod, it gives you a huge plethora of information. It's uh, fantastic. Uh, very, very, very cool to uh, read into all of it. So you have your uh, defensive weapons, which is none, because it's a submarine. Offensive weapons, you have a, a lot of them, just to blow stuff up. You have your dimensions. Uh, obviously, having 105 decibels for self-noise uh, with anodic coating. I think that's how you say that. Uh, very, very quiet submarine. Uh, I'm not going to say invisible, but to other navies, especially when you have a very terrible sonar suite, very silent, very deadly. Let's check others. Uh, here's the uh, Fit 3, Block 3, uh, Los Angeles class. One of the latest. Uh, powerful. It has a lot of, uh, basically, 
the best way to describe it is last generation um, technology on a very old uh, upgraded um, boat. Still, Los Angeles class during the Cold War was the backbone of the U.S. submarine fleet. Very dangerous, very powerful, and very quiet for its time. Concerning other nations, submarines were not as quiet, not as adept at killing other ships. Still dangerous, but not as dangerous as the Los Angeles. Uh, there's the Fatu. Ooh, the Tregle Fire. So here's the British. British uh, submarine. Nuclear, I think? Uh, yes. Nuclear. Um, I personally haven't played this ship. I don't know much about the uh, British uh, Traglifar, uh submarines, so we're going to move on. Oh, here's the original uh, 1984, or I forget when the Los Angeles class came into service, but here's the original. Very powerful boat. Uh, Surgeon class, even earlier. Er, uh, basically, this was the earlier Los Angeles. Uh, still a very deadly boat. But not as powerful. This is more of a 1970s or 60s boat. Still deadly, but not super powerful. Oh, here we're getting into surface ships. Here is the uh, Oliver Hazard Perry class frigate, uh, though it says long hull late. So I'm assuming it has a longer hull, and it has the advanced electronics of the modern day. Um, I don't think this model is 100% accurate to real life, but it's close. Um, this boat was the backbone, or I, I would say the backbone, but it basically it replaced a lot of the destroyers of the uh, U.S. Navy um, after World War II and the beginning of the Cold War. This became the primary escort of most fleets during uh, Vietnam and later. Um, interesting little boat. I've played a couple other games that uh, utilizing this boat. It's very fun, a very fast and agile, um, very maneuverable uh, ASW escort. Um, not the greatest uh, from my experience in taking down other surface ships, but first thing the submarines, I would pick no better ship. Well, at least for the time period. I would love an Arleigh Burke. Still though, very fun ship. I love its 5 inch. And it's Sea Whiz. And also, of course, the workhorses of this ship itself is the two Seahawks that this ship carries. What other ships do we have? Uh, oh, the Ticonderoga class missile guided cruiser. Um, this is the early version, I think. Yeah, early version. Um, very powerful. This is the Aegis. Uh, one, uh, this is the first Aegis cruiser. Uh, electronics were second to none. On the planet, nothing could get through its radar nets at the time. It was it saw everything, more or less. Very powerful cruiser. And of course, we have the late variant with the uh, v uh, VLS or vertical launch or uh, vertical launch system. Yes, VLS uh, vertical launch system, allowing missiles to uh, launch upward uh, for vertical compared to a kind of like a turret of sorts. Um, this thing has enough capability firepower of a battleship of World War II. And of course it has two Seahawk, um, two Seahawks to uh, fight. Very, very powerful ship. If you want to take on a fleet, have several of these. Actually, you could probably just do like one or two and you're good. Ooh, Flight 1 Arleigh Burke class destroyer. Um, also having the VLS. Uh, this replaced, I believe, the Spruance class? I forget. Uh, but uh, basically, this is, the modern, uh, this is the modern classification of destroyer that we use in today. It's an Aegis destroyer. Um, very deadly. Basically, it's a smaller version of the Ticonderoga. Fast, lethal, its ASW is very powerful, and its surface-to-surface uh, surface -surface capability and surface-to-air, very, very deadly. Uh, oh, we have different blocks. Oh, and we're back to the Seawolf. I think... Hmm... I've always wanted to play uh, Arleigh Burke. Do I get helicopters? We get two of them. Hmm. Uh, the model's a little bit different in, uh, in real life. I believe they have two hangars sitting, like, right here that, uh, helicopters are stored in. Hmm. Interesting. Very cool model, though. I do love this ship. Actually, I think we can go back to an old friend of ours. I think I'm gonna go play our Oliver Hazard Perry. I love this ship. I have a very good track record with it in other games. Um, 
played an entire campaign against the Russians uh, in a uh, war simulator. Uh, played this ship with a fleet, and uh, we kicked ass. Uh, helicopters were very helpful. So yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna play this. So let's do here for notes and our capabilities. So first and foremost, we have defensive weapons, anti-missile defense, which I believe means we have uh, missiles to counter other missiles. So air, um, basically surface-to-air missiles, which it means SAM. I believe we also, I think the Ty or Ticonderoga, uh, the Oliver Hazard Perry's five-inch also had flak rounds at one time. Though I'm not sure. I'm I'm sure that's not modeled in the game. But their major thing that kept this boat safe was its SeaWiz, its close interception weapon system, SeaWiz. Uh, basically a 20 millimeter Gatling gun that can fire, basically I call it the smaller version of the A-10 Warthog because that's basically what it is. Um, a very powerful defense uh, system for naval destroyers. Though I remember this ship had them here rather than on the back. Huh. Yeah, I just think they remember them being two on each side. So you could cover left and right, not just back. Huh. It's okay, modeling's a little weird. Um, then we have our offensive weapons. We have Mark 50 torpedoes firing off our triple or our two triple torpedo mounts. Uh, I believe the torpedoes are five, uh, 533 millimeter torpedo launchers, triples. Then we have our UGM-84 missiles, which I believe those are our um, harpoons, uh, a standard ship uh, anti-ship missile, very powerful. We have our RAM-66E missiles, which are, those are our anti, th those are our SAM missiles. And then of course we have, oh, it's a three inch, a three inch uh, uh, slash 60, 62 Mark 75 gun, which is right here. Our dimensions is 126.1 meters by 12.7 meters, and this ship is a total of 4,100 tons. Its top speed is uh, 29 knots with a total crew of 176. Its max depth is 12 meters. Its uh, tube stores, I believe that's uh, weapons in total, is 24. There are no wires, which uh, basically to explain, uh, for submarines, you would have, if you, when you fired a weapon, it would come out of your torpedo tube, and it would have a wire behind it. And basically, it was constantly sending information back to the submarine, and the submarine crew on its weapon control could control the weapon to sail it towards an, or uh, guide it towards an enemy. Um, if the wire cut, you, the torpedo had to utilize its own um, sensors to track a target. Of course, this, this being a warship, it has 162 decibels, which is very loud, um, but it's a warship. What do you expect? Uh, I'm not going all over the sensors. I don't really care. Um, aircraft, two SH-60Bs, not the Deltas. I'm very sad. I like the Deltas. Those are the modern ones, I believe. Or is it the Echo? Ooh, Robert Bradley. Um, the Seahawks. They're basically Blackhawks, but Navy. Yeah. So anyway, let's read the notes. The Oliver Hazard Perry class frigate ships were produced in four, four, five foot, which is 136 meters long, short hull, which is the flight one, and four, five, three foot, which is 138 meters long, long hull, which is what we have, which is the flight three variants. Both were designed primarily as anti-aircraft and anti-submarine warfare guided missile ships intended to provide open ocean escort of amphibious warfare ships and merchant ship convoys in moderate threat environments in a potential war with the Soviet Union and the Warsaw Pact countries. With long-hauled warships carrying the larger and more capable uh, Seahawks, the LAMP 3s, I forget what that stands for, helicopters, they could also provide air defense against and anti-ship missiles. Against anti-ship missiles, I think they fucked up at the end. Uh, these warships are equipped to escort and protect aircraft carrier battle groups, amphibious landing groups, underway and underway replenishment groups, and merchant ship convoys. This ship re uh, received the Mark 50 torpedoes, which is the light uh, lightweight uh, torpedo, uh, lightweight anti-ship torpedo, which means it can be dropped from an aircraft. Standard heavyweights were bigger and had much longer range. Let's do it. All right, let's see here. Uh, from Cub Saint Blanc, Commander Evergreen. I should also mention, 
uh, unless, I want not going to say rare occasion, but most destroyers of World War II and frigates of the Cold War, captains were rare. It was primarily uh, commanders uh, that were in charge of these small boats. Of course, we're part of Simpac uh, FTL, which is um, the Pacific Fleet Command. Uh, let's see your subject, new command assignment. Effective immediately, you are hereby assigned to the command of the Perry LH class vessel, uh, USS Rodney M. Davis. Still says Robert uh, Bradley on the back, but we'll get over it. Um, congratulations, good luck on your command. Heck yes, let's go. Oop. Give a little backstory. They like doing these world news events to, uh, give you some, uh, background. So let's say here, Straits of Crisis. In the years since Lee Ten Hu, Huey, I don't know, has pronounced Taiwanese independence after a national referendum vote, regional tensions remain high in Eastern Asia. While opposing military forces have demobilized, diplomatic rhetoric has only escalated the Chinese Communist Party representatives promising to return the renegade providence back to the fold. Hey, like today. The belligerent tone taken by the PRC over Taiwan has extended to Hong Kong, destabilizing regional relations and leading the uh, the United Kingdom government, or Great Britain, if you didn't know that, to indefinitely delay the plan, planned hand, uh, handover of the Hong Kong to China. Western uh, Anti-Western protests have been a regular sight in mainland cities since. Let's continue. <gasps> oh no, people losing their minds. Tiger economy collapses, tiger being China. The economic crisis has started with the collapse of the Thai bat in the spring, which, which I believe the Thai bat is the basically the stock, uh, the uh, basically Wall Street for China, um, has become a global financial co uh, contagion. Shows no signs of abating. International authorities have been unable to develop an effective response to the escalating tensions between China and the U.S., which has allowed the crisis to continue unabated. The Russians have been particularly hard hit with the hyperinflation taking hold and the ruble, which is the Russian uh, dollar, the ruble's value on the international market being wiped out. Yike. Desperate for foreign capital, the government has sold large amounts of military equipment to, chi to the Chinese, including advanced submarines along with Russian crews as military advisors. Um, I believe that's illegal. Uh oh. That's a silver mini class destroyer. Uh, China on the offensive. China has launched a series of attacks along its periphery, placing recent sabotage against U.S. military installations in a new light. Tensions have remained high since Taiwan's independence and Hong Kong's failed handover, likely resulting in the PRC's deciding that the time is ripe to resolve these issues and enforce their territorial claims in the South China Sea. Furthermore, anal uh, analysts have noted that in the recent months, the Chinese economy may finally be feeling the effects of the Asian economic crisis. Capturing resource-rich areas in the South China Sea may be an effort to divert domestic attention away from the stark economic situation. Yeah, that only works for so long. Anyway, we are currently docked at Guam. Let's see here. Mission orders. Here's our orders. T uh, top secret. Top secret. Um, don't tell anyone. We'll have to shoot you. Um, just kidding. That's a joke. Uh, tactical situation of the 4th of September at 00, zero hours. Intelligence, uh, intelligence data indicates the enemy plans an amphibious landing at Taipei, Taiwan. Uh -oh. A task force with landing ships is leaving Shanto now. You must intercept and destroy this force before the landing occurs. Naval ops is depending on you. No other ships or aircraft are in position to intercept at this time. Uh-oh. Um, a single ship to stop a, uh, <laughs> a landing fleet? I think we need a fleet for this. I'm a single frigate. Eh, we'll make do. We'll get this done. Uh, we're about to be the David versus Goliath. Literally. Primary objective, locate and sink the amphibious landing ships. No der. Secondary objective, locate and sink any escorting vessels if possible. We'll probably have to take out those vessels to get to the landing ships. Avoid detection by enemy ASW patrols. I believe they keep these objectives like as if I'm a submarine. Anyway, weapons free. Thank Christ. Uh, MCON, maintain radio silence until otherwise directed. Roger. Um, this is the experience for your uh, stuff. Anyway, let's continue. Rearm and repair. Let's take a look. Here's our torpedoes. Missiles, missiles. We're good. All right, cast off, weigh anchor. 
Let's roll. Uh oh. Uh, Taipei. Where are the Shanto? Uh, we have the trans uh, transit from Guam all the way here. They're probably gonna capture it before I even get here. All ahead, flank. Let's get to Taipei. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are they? Set, they said they set sail now. Oh, there it is. Are they taking the roundabout route? Nope. Oh, f islands. All right, cool. We're here. And contact. Hell yes. We got just in time. All right, XL. Status report on all weapons. We are loaded. Uh, Let's see here. Let's get anti-ship missiles loaded in the... Actually, let's get our, you know, surface weapons ready. Okay. Uh, close to 25 kilometers should be fine. All hands man battle stations. General quarters, general quarters. On sonar, new contact bearing. Oop. Two, one, seven, desert. Up scope. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Con sonar, switching to active search. All right, where's the enemy fleet? Make due south? Uh, southeast, I think. Uh, there's an enemy helicopter. Con sonar, new con sonar. Launch transient from. Launch transient. Incoming missile. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Fire missile. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. One sonar signal. Oh, a submarine. That's a surface skimmer. We need to knock that down. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Uh, Con sonar lost contact. Con sonar launch transient from. That is a submarine if I've ever seen it. Or is it? Con sonar. Launch transient from. Splash one. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing two zero nine. Hmm. Not liking this too much. Alright. We're gonna close the enemy. All right, we're gonna be, let's retract our total ray and let us, I'm not liking this too much. Con sonar, launch transient from. God damn it. Don't I have my radar on? Shoot con, fire control, unable to fire. Launch two. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Rep missiles. Shoot con, con sonar. Launch transient from. Hauling in our tow array. I think we're towed in now. Yes. Fantastic. Contact breaking up. What I hit? Something hit. Ooh. Oh, it's a small like. Frigate or Corvette, I forget. Hit him with our missile. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 4, bearing 208. Uh, what the hell? Shoot 27. Aye, sir. Chaff ready? Chaff is loaded. Missile sea skimmers incoming. Yeah, I'm aware. Incoming missile. I'm prepping a second SAM launch. Come on, hit it. Good hit. Splash one. Firing second. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Second SAM away. 
Third Sam ready. Good track. <laughs> Fuck. Shoot two seven. Second, Aye, sir. Third Sam away. Con sonar lost contact. Splash Sierra, all three. Four. Last bearing two zero eight. Contact faded. I need to put this helicopter down. Excuse me, sir. Not a lot. Well, let's see if you track it. No, you're not tracking it. Put this hel- Uh, let's see here. Helicopter. Con, sonar. Launch trans in front. Flash it. Pedos. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Con, sonar. Lost contact. Master, one. Last bearing, two. One. Four. Con, sonar. Launch trans in front. So it seems to be going well. We've sent one ship. New contact. Bearing two, one, four. Hit, I think. Hit something. What did we hit? Something smoking. It ain't me. Con sonar lost contact. New ESM contact. Bearing two zero eight. What is that? I think that's a transport. Let's splash this helicopter. I wish the missile would do this already. Get him. Two seven. Aye, sir. Come right to one eight four. Helm I. All right. Let's track this missile. Should be going right for the helicopter. Huh? Where'd you go? Uh, got too close. All right. Put down the helicopter, please. Thank you. And just Got my face. regained contact on master one bearing. Increase speed Make to 50 knots. Four, one, five knots. Let's start uh, approaching this convoy. What is that ship that's burning way over there? Is it you? Con sonar lost contact. Master Who one is last bearing two. Con sonar launch transient from yeah, it's this other guy. New ESM contact, bearing two, one, five. All right, let's just start putting a bunch of missiles down range. Shoot con, fire control. Un con, sonar, lost contact. Con, sonar, launch transient from. Ooh, that's, uh, that is not a sea skimmer. Come on, get there, get there, get there. Oop, deploy chaff. Come on, see through it, see through it, see through it. See through it. Yes, good track, good track, come on. Con sonar. Yeah, good contact. Hit. Master, one, last bearing, two, you? one, five. Contact breaking up. Ooh, a frigate. I just, well, a, I think a John He. That's an ASW uh, one. Who's this guy? I'm sailing right by him. One in the periscope. Con sonar oh, regained contact now. on Sierra four bearing two zero nine. Master one two and three. I don't like these uh <laughs> this little frigate's radar. It's not that great. Not liking it all too much. Con helm steady course. Uh, do we have any missiles incoming? Nope. We have only two weapons out right now. I feel like there's a dude. Alright, let's increase to 50, 15 knots. Make turns for two, nine, let's head for the battle nine, space. Maneuvering eye. Come right to two, one, one, z uh, hell my. Trying to copy. It's not working very much. Sonar ping. Old glory. Flying proud. Well, cool. We've sank a total of two enemy warships, maybe three. I don't know what that that burning pile of oil was. It's weird. Con helm, steady course. Steady course, aye aye. Yeah, 
Yeah, you sank to the bottom. Put a harpoon right into you. That's why you don't screw with the U.S. Navy. We the best. What are you all tracking right now? Sir, I just sank two escorts. I have not sank any of the uh, uh, actual targets. Making a lot of noise. It's all right. Ooh, uh, hit! Maneuvering, making turns. Oh, there goes one of them. Nine, Down she nine. goes. Uh, that is a transport ship. One of our targets that we're supposed to be sinking. And where is our third? I think they both hit at the same time. Uh, let's let's try and sound profile this. So, what is this? I can't even tell. What is conditions? It's quiet as all hell. You're you. Con sonar, launch transient from. Once. Oh shoot! Put a harpoon on it. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing two zero nine. Contact faded. Shoot two seven. Put Sam Aye, on sir. that missile. get towards these targets. I want to see what I'm shooting at. Don't want to lose our two Seahawks on board. So we're going to hold them in reserve. Plus, this is a surface ship fight. Deploying helicopters is pointless. They only have the 50s. Even though you could utilize them to shoot down. Con sonar, regain. Con sonar, launch transient from. I'd appreciate you stop shooting at me. It's rude. Seems either this is an escort or what are you? Con sonar a master chain. three is classified as escort. It's an old new radar contact bearing two zero eight. How are you? I are you a submarine? I'm irritated with you. Is my do I need to super advance this shit? Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Come on, see the missile. Come on, you can see it. I believe in you. And... Oh, there it sees it. Did it work? I don't think it worked. Alright, hard to port. Or hard starboard. Get the sea whiz on. Sea whiz action. Come on, see was. Come on, see was activate. Put out flag. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Watch out. Yeah, defeated. Get out of here. Come on, chaff off. Get a hit. Get away from me. Thank you. Alright, I'm putting missiles out at you. Get out of my face! Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing two zero eight. Contact is in the baffles. Oh shoot. Turn back towards target, though we're gonna go. Come left to two five zero. Helm I. No, hold fire with torpedo. No need to waste munitions. We can get this done with. Uh, Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing two zero. You seven. have to be a cargo ship. I I don't know how my radar's not seeing you right now.
kind of see the other missile. That's why I keep split uh, flipping between each. Uh, that's that should be them on the horizon. See, this is an empty submarine. Con helm, steady course. This is like an old destroyer, like from World War II, just fitted with missile launchers. Not the same size as my ship. Actually, I'm longer by by a lot. Alright, cool. We can engage with Seawiz if we need to. By the way, uh, if you didn't know, the launching of the white uh, clouds above are not smoke launchers. They're called chaff launchers. Basically, what they're used to do is if an incoming missile, which you saw by the missile flying through it, is basically puts out a huge cloud, also impact. Con sonar lost contact. Master 3, Boom! last bearing 2, two. Going 0, down. 7, contact Fast. breaking up. Alright. Uh, anyway, as I was explaining, uh, basically by putting out a huge uh, cloud of chaff, it will distract a missile going for the chaff. Obviously, the missile fly through the chaff cloud, uh, clap, uh, chaff cloud, English me, um, and it will will miss the ship. However, uh, missiles have been uh, programmed to circle back and try to hit it. That's why we are utilizing our little sea whiz back here, that was doing kind of a piss poor job to shoot it down. But eventually got it, so I'll Gucci. Um, I would like to figure out what this sound contact is. Is this a submarine? What is this? Anyway, to figure New that radar out... radar contact. Bearing 222. Two. What are you? Oh. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra 4. Uh, excuse me? Oh, it's a Han. Or some form of submarine. Alright, we're getting our, uh... We're put, well, first and foremost, we're putting a harpoon into you. Mr. Whatever the heck you are. Die. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Troop transport over here. Last but not least, we are launching our helicopter. Let's get AC off on the deck. Get her off. Come left, one, four, one. Let's get out of the way of this torpedo. This is a civilian ship, I am really sorry, but you are flying a Chinese flag and rip. Let's look at our little helicopter. Kidding, it sank to the bottom. What are you? Chengdu? Okay. Cheng Wei, Zheng Zheng Hu, and then Chengdu. And then Kongsha. This is torpedo. I don't like it, it's yellow. It's weird. Con, helm, steady course. Hopefully it's an awake follower, that'd be weird. Man, I've done some weird like zigzags. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's slow to uh, ten knots. Make turns for one. Because we're kind of zero speeding around knots. a little bit. Let's see if we can eye. listen for targets, even way out here. Con maneuvering, making turns for one zero knots. Uh, harpoon is homing. Impact three, two. One. Target destroyed. Contact breaking up. And then, where this little submarine is that just put a torpedo in the water after us, which is irritating at best. How fast were you going? 10 knots? Deploy uh, our towed array. What is this? My Nix uh, Nixie? Let's see if we can put out our uh, hydrophones. As you can see, our little hydrophone line here. Um, to listen for a... Uh... Con sonar, switching to active oh. search. Con sonar, switching to passive search. Hmm. Poor troop transport, you never stood a chance. Not against a harpoon, and you're sinking from the bow. Because I put a huge ass missile on you. Rip! Yeah, what are you? Well, you're about to die, so I don't care. 
Actually, let's just retract. Con, put sonar, on active. switching to active search. We will pull up on ping. Where is that torpedo, by the way? I'm trying to look from where I'm at. What is the range, by the way, from here to there? Uh, let's see here. 19 kilometers. Jeez. 19 and a half. Actually. Con, Flyco, aircraft orbiting waypoint. Oh, aircraft is orbiting waypoint. Roger. Let's move you a little bit closer because contact is not moving as quickly Con, as I thought. Flyco, aircraft transiting to point. Roger. All right, I want you to drop at least one torp in the water. Scared the ever living crap out of them because what wouldn't scare someone having a torpedo dropped on your head? Hmm. What is this? Hmm, I don't know. Have you taken any damage? We have not taken any damage. Go, little sea Seahawk, go! This one's the one at the bottom of the sea that I put a missile into. It's so cool that you can control helicopters now. It's really cool. I think this is a sonar buoy, but they don't utilize them in the game, or at least... Well, I mean, enemies do, I don't. I wish you could, though, that'd be cool. Probably oh, that. Alright, let's drop a corp in the water right on top of Sierra 4. Let's put it right in front of him. Alright, spin around, and put a torpedo on his head. Aircraft orbiting waypoint. All right. Nope. We're not doing a waypoint. Con. Flyco. Aircraft transiting to point. All right. Drop torpedo on top of him. All right. Let's see it. Con. Weapon away. Aircraft Splash dropping. onto target. Possibly. Let's see if he starts cavitating. No, start pissing himself if you're a torpedo in the water. I know I would. It's called a head flank and crash dive and go as deep as you possible, which, considering the depth's only 129 meters, um, <laughs> you're not really going anywhere. 74 knots. I don't even think this torpedo's remotely near this guy. All right, let's Helm come right towards two, target. Two, zero, seven. Helm, I. See if we can get a better acquisition. I really wish you could tell this dude to chill. Yeah, I don't think this Seahawk's close. Or, uh, yeah, close to the target. That's where it says it is, but... Nope. I do want to sink this submarine. I really do. Can I get a good contact signature? All right, let's look at let's look at the. Uh, here's our book of all the submarines in the game. So we have a kilo, alpha. All right, and also as I mentioned, so basically you can click through all the submarines and you've got to try to line up the lines to get a contact signature for your uh, submarine. Oh, here's an enemy weapon. Finally detecting it, and it's actually in front of me. That's not good. Don't like that. Come right to. Two, three, seven, helm, I. Or do we have this flank toad away? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Let's increase the flank. Make turns for two, nine, not. Let's see if we can line eye. up these lines real quick. And I'm going too fast to see it now. Oh well. Decent solution. That's where it says it is. Let's uh. Standard still aircraft. 
Con, Helm, steady course. Let's put a torpedo about here. Con, Flyco, aircraft transiting to point. I hear my sonar off the distance, but he's staying nice and quiet. He knows there's a helicopter out there looking for him. Let's get out of the way of this torpedo. Close this up. Down this Con banner. maneuvering, making turns for two, nine. Is I gonna run out of battery yet? Nope. New radar contact, bearing two, one, three. Huh? Con, flight the hell are you? aircraft dropping weapon. Chinese fishing vessel, we're gonna hold fire. Oh, I think I sank a tran transport ship. Ooh, war crimes! Let's see, do you see anything? Con, Flyco, aircraft returning to base. Yep, good. Let's get our Seahawk with zero weapons back to base. See anything, buddy? Technically, we're in the clear. I don't want to leave yet. I, there is a submarine out here. I know there is. I just can't see him. Slow to 10 knots. Make sl turn slow on to five. sonar. No longer cavitating. Alright, let's start listening. Deploy Con, toad array. Maneuvering. Making turns for five knots. Con sonar new contact bearing two zero eight. Designated Sierra eight. Huh? Can these people stay out of my area, please? Where's the Sierra eight? To the north? Where's this guy? You know what? I don't much care. 56. On sonar, switching the passive search. All right, screw this. <laughs> oh, weapons nearby. No, oh, I should have left when I could. Retract. Let's get out of here. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Yeah, Con sonar, torpedo. regain contact on Sierra. Uh, is this guy in? On Earth. Zero. Nine, L I. It's tracking me. Con, L, steady course. Make turns. One, five, knot. Maneuvering eye. Boy, decoy. Land. Con, Flyco, aircraft landing. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Now, Bearing. Fuck. Two, one, four. Head flank. Make turns for two, nine, knots. Maneuvering on uh oh We have a torpedo in the water, and I'm not liking this. Where's this thing? There it is. On the on the rim. Head flank! Let's get a knuckle in the water. Oh, come on. And right left full rudder. Con, knuckle formed. Get that knuckle. Is this guided? Drop a decoy. Nope, Con, it sees me. Knuckle formed. Ah, get out of the way! Nope, this got me. Shit. This gonna hurt. Don't take me. Engine room. Ouch! Big old hole in the bottom of my boat. Ooh, I'm almost board. dead. Lay to the engine room. Let's leave combat. Uh, a Uding, a Uding, and a Han. Yeah, the Han put a torp in me. That hurt. I sunk a bunch of stuff, though, so that's good. Uh, great job. Pleased to hear the expected invasion of Taipei has been repelled. Uh, <laughs> I nearly got sunk because of it. All right. Junk sunk. Uh, that's a weird name. Uh, Taipei, Taiwan, a massive coordinated Chinese sea-based landing has been repelled. A DOD, which means Department of Defense, spokesman says that a com combination of hard fighting by defending troops and by prior significant weakening of the invasion force by U.S. Navy units contributed to averting disaster and defeat. 
According to the analysts, the ability of the U.S. to contain the enemy and prevent the opening of new fronts will be a major factor in the outcome of the war. Only by keeping the front line focused focused on a few territories will be the Western allies have any hope of success. Continue. Yeah, I need to return to Guam for repairs. We nearly sank last time. Uh, it's not good. Run! Run for your life! I nearly just got sank because I'm in a really old boat. But I think we're going to call it after because uh, I've been probably recording for like 30, probably an hour now that I think about it. Ooh, that was not good. Taking a torpedo at the very end of that, I could have totally avoided that. Yike. Oh, submarines, warships. All right, let's get into Guam. Uh, after a successful patrol, you look on the mooring lines tight and securing your ship to appear homes and safe. You allow yourself to relax for a little while. The world may be at war, but the sunny skies and light breeze over home port whispers of a brief moment of peace. So, two days of war. We've completed one mission. We've uh, sank three warships, three merchants for a total of six ships sunk. Um, for a total tonnage of 19,450 tons. Not, not bad. Not bad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy this video, of course, I am not the greatest, but I do definitely try in terms of keeping this interesting, though I did go mute for a few times. If you did like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to see more of this, please do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.